done the Beast Sports Report. And my dad, hey, Dylan. Nice to have you on the show. We're and back. it's going to be a great week of college football this week. But first, I'm going to start with my top 10. Okay, number 10, Clemson, great speed. Ah, uh, Sammy Watkins, DeAndre Hopkins, caught Taj Boyd, all first round talent guys. Andre Ellington, they got a great team, got great speed. Clemson, two years in a row, has been like top team. Clemson, they're still going to be like in a big ball, most likely, even if they don't win the ACC championship. Okay, move on to number nine now. Um, at number nine, LSU, they almost beat Alabama, couldn't quite them. Who could beat quite, Alabama? I know, couldn't quite beat them yet, but they played a good game. They tried, but they couldn't. They kind of got lucky because there's, I mean, LSU got lucky just to stay in the game because they they had it, but the coaching kind of, because some of the play calls on fourth down weren't exactly right. Okay, anyway, moving on to number eight now. Uh, that's going to be uh, Gators of Florida. Okay. Uh, they're, I mean, they're eating one. you got to go with a team that's winning. I mean, you got to sure. go with a team that's winning. i got to say that. They're not. I never really think they're number eight, but if you win, you gotta go up there high. They got a good team. They got, they got, they got some speedy guys. They got a good defense, but losing one game to Georgia, which is probably, which is probably gonna get them out of the SEC championship game. Okay, moving on to number seven now. Florida State. Another Florida team. Florida State. They lost to NC State. If they didn't lose to NC State, then there goes the side oh, again. Sorry, no. <laughs> but, okay, so if they didn't lose to Florida, I mean NC State, then they'd be. Way up there, E.J. Manuel, they got a great defense, they really can play dominating. Okay, move on to number six now. Most people aren't putting them as number six, but I am uh, Louisville. Louisville, Teddy Bridgewater. Definitely. Teddy Bridgewater, remember he's only a sophomore, by senior year, imagine how good he will be. And he could be, and he's definitely, looks to me like an NFL type guy, and, he's, and he just looks good. And Louisville's, they're also playing great. Team, they're also on the, the whole team's playing great football. They're absolutely they're dominating their opponents. Beat Temple last week by big, and now top five. I think almost everyone in the country believes that this is the all the top five. It's everyone's like in the top five. I think everyone believes that that they should okay. be in the top five. Okay, number five, Georgia. Georgia, number four. Georgia, great team, okay, but uh, not beat Florida. The other, okay, number four, uh, Notre Dame. That's the, they're a good team. If they some find ways to pull out wins, even when they don't play great, they find way to pull out wins. Pittsburgh missing a field goal last week. They do whatever it takes to win the game. Number three and number two are kind of a lot of people are controversial on that, but I'm gonna go with number three, the Ducks of Oregon. Because I just don't think there's they are a great team. I don't, there's no reason not to put them at number two. The only reason why I'm not putting them as number two is because Kansas State I think is better. Kansas State's just playing great. They're they're, they're dominant. They play in the Big Twelve. Oregon, to be honest, really hasn't beaten anyone like Kansas State has. I mean, they've beaten Oklahoma and West Virginia, and T. Uh, they've beaten so many great teams. Okay, and uh, number one. <laughs> I don't even have to say it because everyone knows. Yeah, everyone knows. <laughs> All right, so, okay, okay. Moving on. Moving on. Game of the game of the week. Actually, can I just hold up for? Is is it really going to be the game of the week and the upset of the week? It's sort of an upset and the game of the week. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go with the game of the week, which I uh, this is like this is a closer line. Okay, game of the week: Texas A&M Alabama. Oh, I'm surprised that's the one you picked. Okay, my Texas A&M Alabama. That's that's just going to be a great game. Texas A&M, honestly, Alabama. That's the only team match I think they could lose possibly. Texas A&M was a really good the coaching for Texas A&M. Was looking really good. Oh, that's your game okay, I'm surprised. My my game of the week and my upset of the week. Boston College beats <laughs> Notre Dame this week. In eight of the last 12 years, uh, the game has been separated by a touchdown or less, and I think that, you know, BC has nothing else to play for in this game. I know. why. Well, it's my, obviously, my upset of the week is BC Notre Dame. You know that BC can play, it's just if the coach, if the play calls are better, they could, they, people would totally look at them differently. They really can, they definitely do have some skilled guys, but you know that if BC wins, everyone's going running on the field. It's going to be crazy. I and know. and Brett Musburg is going there. First time in three years since the Florida State game. Awesome. So, so yeah, it's, it's a huge game. Okay. Is, your, is your player of the week also in that game? Uh, no. 
Oh, no, but okay. it's, Mine it's Chase Reddick. Okay, yeah. I think he's got to win the game. It's him. Yeah, he's going to have to have a huge day. He's got to have 400 yards plus if they have a chance. To Definitely. Win. Okay, well, my player of the week, I'm going back to Texas A&M. Johnny Manziel, freshman for Texas A&M. He's looked like, he's looked like more like a senior playing. He's only a freshman. He's really maturing. Matt, he's like Teddy Bridgewater and Johnny Manziel are kind of the same type guys. They're just they're young, but they stay calm. They're composed. They just keep playing. They're very... They're very just great like quarterbacks. They can move around the pocket. They're both guys. I think are gonna be in the NFL even though they're young. I still think they got a good great shot at the NFL. Okay, well it's it's gonna be a week eleven this week. Already the season goes by so fast. So so Brent Musburger at the BC Notre Dame game See you Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> okay, so okay. Thanks for the so, being on the show. Okay, nice to have you on the show for BC Sports Report. I'm done. See you next. Week.